Hey everyone, what is going on? And we have another showcase for you today, this time in the Open Great League. So we are taking a look at, well, basically a throwback to Season 1, right? This is basically a, a really popular Season 1 team. We had Reggie Steele with Alteria and Azumel. Now, Alteria and Azumel are still really good in the Open Great League. Uh, Reggie Steele kind of... Um, lost its shine, I guess, because Flash Cannon and Focus Blast were nerfed. However, Registeel now gets Zap Cannon and Focus Blast was buffed again. So you don't, you're not even running uh, Flash Cannon on this Registeel. So Registeel just as good as it ever was back in the day. So uh, yeah, really powerful Pokemon. It's funny how they nerf it and then they make it really good again. Like, even much better than it was. I mean, it has a lot more play against Azuma, right, with Zap Cannon. So Zap Cannon uh, was buffed recently. So really good uh, move anyway that was gonna be a good game uh, let's go ahead and start the commentary we do see a needle queen okay so this is not good you'll have flash cannon against the needle queen they actually switch out into drapion okay what is going on they switch out and then they're not tapping I wonder why they switched out. I mean I know the poison attacks are double resisted that's not gonna do much damage but the earth power would do a lot and this uh, Reggie Steel does not have flash cannon. I don't really know. I don't really know, but it looks like the opponent unfortunately is lagging now. So uh, I didn't really notice this. I could have not included this game. I don't know. The opponent's back uh, and they just forfeit. I don't really know what happened there. They switch out and then they start lagging maybe. I don't know. But either way, let's go ahead and move into the next one. Reggie Steel into Skarmory. This has always been a great matchup. It's actually better now that it has Zap Cannon, but it was still really good. Uh, so we do see a switch into Vigoroth. Okay. Uh, so we're going to see a Focus Blast, and maybe a Focus Blast and dip into Skarmory? Not Skarmory, Alteria? Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. The opponent does shield that, so that was a good shield because Focus Blast would have done a tremendous amount. Uh, but Alteria should be able to win this matchup, even if it has to invest a shield. It might not have to, we'll see. It's going to be able to take another Body Slam, just going to let it go. So Body Slam coming in, that's totally fine. Sky Attack coming out. Now Sky Attack is not going to be enough to KO, so Alteria will most likely have to invest the shield. Um, definitely worth winning Switch, though you really want that Registeel aligned to Skarmory. Um, Azumel's not that bad against Skarmory either, but Registeel just dominates it, especially with Zap Cannon, even before though, right? Uh, in comes the Skarmory. They're definitely going to farm down, but again, Registeel does not care about all of that extra energy. Uh, we're going to see this Moonblast. I mean, both moves are resisted. Might as well go for the attack debuff on Moonblast, right? Uh, so in comes Crafty. This is amazing. This is going to be a good game. Um, even though this Azumel doesn't have play rough, it doesn't matter. Scrafty's moves are all resisted. Foul play and power up punch. So this is going to be a good game. We do see the foul play come in. Uh, you're yeah, just going to go for the Hydro Pump. Might as well. It's going to be doing the most damage. And I don't think they'll shield. Um, they don't shield. So now the Azumel can just bubble this down and go for like another Hydro Pump against Skarmory. And again, Zap Cannon from that Registeel. Going to be good enough. Uh to win of course so we do see a farm down there very nice in comes Skarmory actually Skarmory does get off an attack gonna go ahead and shield I agree with the shield Registeel does not need shields uh, just gonna get off this Hydro Pump uh, if they don't shield it this is gonna KO and then if they do shield it which they do you can come in and get to the Zap Cannon and that is gonna be a good game yeah here we go Zap Cannon now Zap Cannon again as I said was buffed it was buffed season 10 right I think so uh, and it wasn't really too great because the Pokemon that got it were not really impressive, but on Registeel it is a great move. So uh, that is incredible. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle and see how the next game goes. We have two sets for you, by the way. Registeel into Azumel. Oh man, the Zap Cannon hitting home. Let's see. They actually switch out into Trevenant. Out comes Altaria. You absolutely love to see it. Before, like, if Azumel has Hydro Pump against Registeel, it's kind of like a neutral matchup, right? The Flash Cannon is doing a decent amount, Hydro Pump doing a decent amount, but now Zap Cannon is super effective, doing a lot of damage to the Azu. Uh, so now we're just going to see a Sky Attack, just want to get rid of this Trevenant. They actually do go ahead and shield. Do you shield this? No, just going to let it go. Shadow Ball shouldn't KO though. Oh, it's going to be a Seed Bomb. Maybe they were counting and knew it was a Seed Bomb. Beautiful call there. Able to farm down. That is incredible. In comes Azu. Going to go ahead and go for the Sky Attack right now. Just to get off whatever damage you can. Uh, so that's totally fine. I mean, one Zap Cannon, honestly, I'm sure it doesn't KO in Azu from full health. There's no way it does. But uh, th after these Sky Attacks, it probably... That's definitely in Zap Cannon range. They both switch out. And that's a Glorian Stunfisk in the back. 
So we're going to see a Focus Blast come in from this Reggie Steel. Um, so we do see a shield there. Um, and okay, so we're going to see an attack come in. Uh, Earthquake doesn't KO. It's going to be a Rock Side Bait. That is a huge call. Uh, but again, it wouldn't have KO'd even if it wasn't Earthquake. We're going to see the Focus Blast come in from the Reggie Steel. Uh, so this is super effective damage, and now you just farm down and go for the Zap Cannon, right? Probably shield this farm down. Yeah, gonna go ahead and shield that. I like that shield. This is going to be another bait, but again, it was worth the shield. They can't make it to an Earthquake. Uh, so we do see a farm down. It, no, okay, they get off an attack. But even a Hydro Pump, I don't think KOs. It's a nice beam. That certainly doesn't KO. Maybe a Hydro Pump would have, but either way, Reggie Steel gets off the Zap Cannon. That's what I'm talking about. You absolutely love to see it. Goodbye, Azu. So, Reggie Steel, I cannot wait to build one. Uh, Reggie Steel with Zap Cannon, can't wait to build it. Uh, so, Reggie Steel into Wolverine. Okay, Zap Cannon, super effective damage. Of course, the Earthquake is super effective as well. Focus Blast is super effective as well, though, so you probably go for the Focus Blast. No, just gonna go for the Zap Cannon. Uh, both of them are super effective, but we're gonna see which one is more energy efficient. Okay, that's fine. Now you can just farm down. You do see an attack drop there. The attack drop, I think, is guaranteed. I'm not familiar with Zap Cannon, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just not familiar with it because I've never seen it before. I'm going to start seeing it, I'm sure of it, but in comes Deoxys. Another Zap Cannon coming in, going to debuff. I think the, the attack debuff is guaranteed, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, we see another attack that dropped. That did so much to a defense Deoxys. Holy cow! We're going to see an attack come in. It's going to be Thunderbolt. Reggie Steel is just staying in, just chilling, just going for another Zap Cannon. Oh my god, this Reggie Steel cannot be stopped. Oh my gosh, I love this new moveset on Reggie Steel. I'm telling you, this is gonna. I'm gonna definitely use this at the start of next season. Uh, they're gonna farm down, so they do get a lot of farm there. Gonna bring in the Alteria. They they use Thunderbolt, right? So if they use Thunderbolt, they probably don't have Rock Slide. Uh, yeah, so they probably have Psycho Boost there, so they're gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Um, this I'll tell you, we'll thumb down what is in the back, going to be, uh oh, that's a good game, <laughs> a Venusaur, so great game, great set, that was the end of the set, or do we have another, oh no, we have, we have, um, uh, actually that was the end of the set, okay, so very nice there, great game, um, going 5-0 in that set, Reggie Steel is an absolute monster, uh, so next up we have Reggie Steel in the Bash Uthon, you absolutely love it, I know you do, um, you don't really even have to worry about Flamethrower, honestly, it's not gonna KO, Fo oh, the catch on Gastrodon. Honestly, this is not that bad. Uh, I'm totally fine with this Gastrodon. Though. Very interesting. Very cool, though. Um, okay, so going to stay in. Maybe try and catch. We do see a switch. Um, if they have Earth Power, I mean, Body Slam is going to be neutral, but it's not going to do too much. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't, th I don't think I would have thrown a Focus Blast. Well, no, they caught the Focus Blast, but I wouldn't have continued to... Uh, this is okay, I guess, because like the thing is, they're going to be able to farm down, which is a little bit concerning. But to be honest, I don't think it matters. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Because, yeah, the, the Reggie Steel still has energy. Yeah, I guess, I mean, farming up against the Gastrodon. Uh, yeah, I guess was I guess that was a good play, because now you have energy ready to go against Bastiodon. Not enough for a Focus Blast yet. Uh, Flamethrower is not going to be enough to KO, and we do see a Focus Blast come in. Uh, so this Focus Blast is going to get the shield, okay. Keep in mind, there's still an Azu in the back with Hydro Pump that could fight this Bastiodon. Uh, you shield it, yeah, yeah, you shield it. Uh, we don't know what's in the back, it's gonna be a Flamethrower, and it's gonna be a Metacham, you absolutely love to see it. Now, Metacham, here's the thing, like, because there's no play rough on this Azu, like, Metacham with Psychic still has play against Azu. Um, and look how much it does, right? The counters are even adding up, even though it's resisted. So, hey, they might actually, Metacham might actually be able to beat Azumel here. We'll see. We're going to see the Hydro Pump, and they do shield it. Yeah, I mean, another Psychic will KO, or come very close to KOing. This also could be a bait. Uh, it is a bait, so definitely unfortunate there. Well played by the opponent as well. This is definitely another power-up punch. There's no way this is enough for a Psychic. Um, so that's fine, but look how low the Azu is. Hydro Pump coming in. This is where you wish you had play rough, but Hydro Pump will still be doing a lot of damage. Um, almost enough to KO. You gotta farm it down. Okay, not able to. 
Does Power Punch KO? I don't think it does. I actually don't, I really don't think it does. Even though it's boosted, it does not. Switching in to Veggie Steel, they anticipated the, the opponent to switch in the Bash Field on. Oh my gosh, we see a Focus Blast, and now we see not a Lock On Down, but a Bubble Down with Azu. Oh my gosh, literally one HP in a dream that Azu is holding on to. Wow, that was a crazy game. Great lead, but still a very, very close game. Um, the opponent played that really well, but we see a Shadow Hitmonchan in this matchup. You gotta leave. Uh, Alteria, yep. I mean, both Pokemon in the back do well here. Yeah. I mean, I like this team. I mean, this team was popular, uh, a similar variant of this team in Season 1, as I said, right? This is what the trainer said who submitted this as well, and I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, so Skarmory is coming in. Honestly, I might want to try this team. I mean, it's a, it's a standard team. Like, it's a, it's not like a unique team or anything. But Zap Cannon on Registeel is just so powerful. It really is. It's it's so good. Uh, so Sky Attack coming in. Okay. Um, trying to get to a move. Able to get to a Sky Attack. This is not like the worst matchup in the world. I mean, of course, Skarmory does have an advantage here. Uh, we do see a shield. Do they actually shield that? Okay, so they're going for the the farm down. They they, they do get it. They do get it. And I'm really surprised they shielded only because Reggie Steel can eat up these attacks. Uh, so it's going to be a sky attack, and that's fine. I was going to say, do you do you lock on down? Actually, maybe you do. I know that's an aggressive farm down, but to be honest, you could take another sky attack. Uh, oh no, going to save the energy and bring in a zoom out. I like that play as well. Um, I mean, could have taken another Sky Attack and maybe got the farm down with Lock On. But uh, Bash Udon is coming in. This is not bad because Azumel has Hydro Pump. If Azumel didn't have Hydro Pump, this would be really bad. But the Hydro Pump is coming in. I don't anticipate a shield yet because they don't know if the Azumel has Hydro Pump or not, right? Uh, so we're going to see an attack come in. Just going to let it go. Uh, it's going to be a Stone Edge. Yep, that makes sense. And we're going to see... A Hydro Pump might as well go for it. It's not like you can go for Ice Beam and then get to another one anyway. So you might as well go for it. Uh, they don't shield it. They let it go. And they bring in Hitmonchan. Out comes Registeel. Going for the Zap Cannon. Going for the heavy hitting damage. We do see a shield. We need another Zap Cannon. ASAP. This is Power Punch. But you got a shield. Most likely. Most likely. Uh, it is Power Punch. The counters are going to be doing more. Skarmory is trying to catch a move. That might have helped. Oh, going for the Focus Plus? Oh yeah, Focus Plus is enough to win. Why was I thinking Focus Plus was resisted? Yeah, you don't even need Zap Cannon. Yeah, Focus Plus is enough to knock it out. They tried to catch with Skarmory, so that was a good attempt. But luckily, uh, this trainer did not fall for that. So well played. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking Focus Plus was resisted by Hitmonchan. It's not, obviously. But well played. Great game there. Um, okay, this is not terrible. Uh, but you do have to watch out for the close combat as well. Now, they didn't charge up for two, but that doesn't mean it's not close combat. They could close combat and switch. It's actually foul play. It's a little unfortunate there, but uh, it is what it is. We're going to see the Focus Blast come in, probably picking up a shield. Yep, picking up a shield. Switching out now into Azu. Okay. Uh, in comes, oh, in comes Jump Pluff, but the thing is Ice Beam is double super effective. Now, I have used Jump Pluff before. It doesn't KO. Um, the, the Ice Beam from Azumel, but it does do a lot of damage. Energy Ball will do a lot as well. Uh, I'm going to let it go. Yep, doing a lot of damage. And we're going to see another Ice Beam. So this will be enough to KO. Uh, so Ice Beam coming in if the game decides to load. And they actually let it go. Okay, so they're not going to shield that. They're going to bring in Berserker. Is Berserker farming down? No, it's not. Okay, so it's going to throw the foul play, which should be enough to knock out the Azu. Oh, Iron Head. Never mind. They don't have close combat. Okay, that's good to know for the Reggie Steel. Um, that's actually really good to know. Foul play is not resisted, so foul play will still, I guess, do a decent amount. That's okay damage, but it's not like a close combat where you have to worry about it. We're going to see another one. This is still not enough to KO, but Reggie Steel wants to preserve some health. Berserker is a really good Pokemon. I love Berserker. We're going to see the Focus Blast come in right now. And this Focus Blast is going to get the shield. And now out comes the Altaria now. Oh, what is it? Is that... Oh, Mandibuzz. Okay, I couldn't see it for a moment. Uh, yeah, so Mandibuzz. Okay, so Mandibuzz is going to go ahead and go for an attack right now. This is coming down to the wire. We'll have to see. Registeel still has health on it. Oh, oh yeah, but the Altaria has Moonblast. Super effective damage to the Mandibuzz, so that is huge. Now you just Dragon Breath down. 
Uh, so great, great there, and in comes Berserker. But Berserker, not the bulkiest Pokemon around, so even though it resists Sky Attack, it's still almost going to KO it, and it's pretty low as well. So able to Dragon Breath down. That is going to be a great game, very well played there. So, yeah, fantastic games. I really enjoy these. Thank you so much for submitting these. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so Registeel into Politoed, that Zap Cannon. You love to see it. Of course, the Earthquake is a threat, but still... Uh, you could take an Earthquake. Is this, this? This seems too fast for Earthquake. I could be wrong. Uh, it's just a Weather Ball. It's totally fine. Uh, so just going for the Zap Cannon. Absolutely incredible. Going to be doing a lot. Is this enough to one-shot a Politoed? Oh my... Oh, it's not. They actually survive on 1 HP. But you could just lock on down. This is just a Weather Ball. Uh, so you just lock on down that Politoed. Oh my god. Zap Cannon on Registeel. Really, really powerful. Um, you just go for the Focus Blast. You could go... Oh, no, they're not going to make... Actually, yeah, going to shield this. I guess maybe go for the Zap Cannon to get the debuff. Yeah, you go for the Zap Cannon to get the debuff, right? There's an Azu in the back. Ninetales does have access to Solar Beam, if I'm not mistaken. Most, from what I tell, do carry... Um... Trevor do carry, um, carry... Um, they don't carry Solar Beam. They carry Overheat Weather Ball, I think. But I have seen Solar Beam. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I think it's Ninetales that has Solar Beam. But anyway... They switch into their Trevenant, so this is going to be a good game. Because Alteria definitely does well here. Uh, we're going to see a shield. It's going to be a Shadow Ball, makes sense. Uh, and Alteria is going to try to get to this guy attack. Not quite able to get there. Will a Shadow Ball KO? It might not KO. Um, even if it does, it doesn't matter. It actually does KO. That, that's a very powerful move. But it really doesn't matter. I mean, there's an Azu for that Ninetales, right? So, oh, going to bring in the Azu. Okay. Oh, trying to catch. Able to catch as well. Holy cow. That catch was incredible. Going to be a seed bomb. Uh, resisted damage. They're going to be able to farm down. But the Azumel should be able to get to it. No, they don't get to it. But the thing is, this is not going to KO. So at this point, you farm down the Trevenant and go for Hydro Pump. They actually switch in, which is a good play. But the Hydro Pump is coming out. This is going to KO. And then you just farm down the Trevor. So very well played. Fantastic catch, my friend. That was a great catch. Yeah, well played. Well played. Um, so, okay, great game. I think we have another game for you. We do have another game. Very nice. Uh, so Reggie Steel into Drapion. Okay, very nice. You could just you could just go for the Focus Blast here. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. They do go for an attack. What do they have? Oh, it's got to be Crunch, right? Even if they have Aqua Tail, you go for Crunch for the debuff. That does a lot. Actually, did a lot to Registeel. I didn't think it would do that much. Okay, we're going to see the Zap Cannon. That's fine. I mean, I guess they're going for the attack debuff. Um, and, okay, they're going to get the attack debuff anyway. So even though they, they shield it, which is totally fine, Registeel can just take this attack. Probably go for another Zap Cannon. Uh, or Focus Blast, whatever they decide to do. And Registeel can actually take another one. Uh, it's going to get pretty low, but I, they're not going to be able to poison Sting down, right? They actually go for the Aqua Tail. There's no way they poison Sting down. So Zap Cannon, oh my gosh, I love this move. Uh, Zap Cannon coming in, and that's, okay, it doesn't KO, but the attack drop, you lock on down. Do you shield this? I Yeah, I think it's worth it. So you can lock on down and have an attack ready to go against whatever comes in. They switch in Deoxys. Out comes Alteria, okay? Okay. So Rock Slide is scary. It's definitely scary. It's Thunderbolt though, so they have Psycho Boost. That tells me they have Psycho Boost. Very nice. Um, so we're going to see uh, a Sky Attack come in right now. Just going to go ahead and go for it. The damage. We do see a shield from that Deoxys. Very nice. So shields are down from the opponent. And the Deoxys is going to go ahead and go for a Psycho Boost. Not enough to KO. Okay, going for the Sky Attack. I think they wanted to get to a Moonblast, but realizing they're probably not going to be able to get there. So just going to go ahead, go for that Sky Attack. Uh, and not enough to KO. Actually, it did KO. Okay. Uh, so, oh, Bash Shield on. The Azu has Hydro. Uh, actually, yeah, just bring in... Why not? Just bring in the Registeel and go for Focus Blast. Yeah, absolutely right. Why not? It doesn't KO, but you just bubble down at this point. Yeah, that's going to be a great game. <laughs> well played to both trainers there and able to win that. This is a powerful team, guys. If you're playing in the Great League, I would actually highly recommend this team. I really would. Like, you can go in a different order if you want to lead with, like, the Alteria or something. You could do that. But this is a great, great team. Uh, Zap Cannon and Reggie Steel is just so overpowered. I'm going to try this team out myself. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.